Okay, today I'll just show how to make a new preset from an existing preset for the print dialog. So I've got these four images. I'll come over to the print tab. Now in this particular print tab, we've got Ilford Smooth Pearl front Epson Shore Color 600. So this is Ilford Gallery Smooth Pearl A4 with the relative rendering intent. Now I'll show you one thing that can be done. If you want to make a preset for perceptual rendering intent, it's quite easy. You just come in, you select that, and that sets up the page set up in the print driver plus all of this. If the only thing you want to do is change the rendering intent, we'll just create a new preset. And I'm going to give it this name, IGSPA4, but this time I'll call it Perceptual. It's in the folder containing the Smooth Pearl templates. So at this stage, these two are identical. So you can see I've got Perceptual, Standard Glossy, but that's relative. The only thing I need to change is select Perceptual, come across, right click, update with current settings. So now if you have a look in this area while I adjust back and forth between them, you can see that's the two rendering intents. So you can see how straightforward it is. Now, if I wanted to make an A3, what I'm going to do is just click on either one of these. I'm going to create a new preset, and this one is going to be called IGSP A3 Relative. So now you can see that I've got an A3 relative. That's relative there. We've still come across with the uh, print profile. But up here you can see that the size paper is incorrect. Now to alter that, we come down into the page setup. We know that we've got the print series correct. We've got the properties. That's all correct. You can either do it in here or you can do it in there. What we're going to do is we're just going to change it to A3 paper. Again, if you want borderless, this is when you need to select it. So at this point, I'll click OK. It's reflected there. We'll click OK. Now you can see that the dimensions and details are all up here. The paper size is A3. But what's happened now is the layout the margins are fine, they're at still at 5 mil, but the cell size is out. So we just drag the cell size out. Now all I need to do is update with current settings. That's all that's needed to do to make a new preset with different paper sizes. And this is the beauty of printing with Lightroom. It's very, very easy to do uh, multiples. Once you've done it once, you just copy and you just adjust. So what we'll do, we'll make an A3 with the perceptual rendering intent. So I highlight A3, that copies the page setup and all of that. I just hit plus, I, G, S, P, A3, perceptual. So now we've got them. And what you'll see, even though it's called Perceptual, down here we've got Relative. We need to click Perceptual. That then loses its highlight. That means any settings with it are uh, changed. We're just going to highlight it now. A3 Perceptual, right click, update with current settings. And now you'll see we've got two A3 templates, one with perceptual, one with the relative. I hope that uh, sorts out how easy it is to print in Lightroom because from now on it's just a matter of that. Okay.